let's take a look at my solar power system. Now I have three separate systems and I'm using diodes to order them together into the, the one inverter. Now the, the only reason I'm doing it this way is that I had uh, different batteries. I had uh, this one's a 200 amp hour uh, AGM battery. Uh, th these are four uh, 35 amp hour batteries that are in parallel and I had a uh, uh, flooded lead acid battery. I changed that out for a lithium ion phosphate battery and you can't change the, uh, you can't combine different uh, amp hours and different uh, chemistries and you know at some point I, this has been around for five years at some point I had uh, you know a couple golf cart batteries or I had uh, flooded lead acid batteries and uh, you can't combine them even if they're the same amp hour rating it but if they're a different age you shouldn't combine those together so you know if you can afford a, a, a good uh, battery bank the, you know all the same batteries all new new batteries that's the way to go uh, I happen to have these batteries and uh, so I went to, I went this way to put it all together just uh, because uh, you know had to, I had the batteries so now these are these ideal diodes and I did a video on these and how, and I tested them so I'll leave a link to that in the description so now the old diodes were Schottky diodes I had on here and they would draw draw drop 0.3 volts across them and at 20 amps that's 6 watts so you know that could be 18 watts total here and these ideal diodes only drop 0 0.02 volts across them so that's only about 0.4 watts so I'm saving a lot of uh, wattage by going to the ideal diodes here's the ideal diode here and I've got it mounted on a this is a AGU uh, fuse holder uh, these are AGU fuses here and it fits on this fuse holder. I had to just spread it out just a little bit, but it fits pretty good. And uh, it's got a nice heat sink on it. These particular um, uh, diodes here are they're good for 25 watts and 50 watts if you if you have a heat sink on there. Hopefully, this is a good enough heat sink. And I'll show you the, the whole setup in there a little bit. But uh, these seem to work out good like that. And I think there's enough heat sinks on there to to work. So let's start here with uh, this solar panel array. So I have uh, three 300 watt panels and they're all in parallel, okay? Now they have uh, bypass diodes in them. They come like that. And then these bypass diodes, they're, they're not a blocking diode. They're just a bypass diode. And in parallel, they're, they're not even, you can take them out of they're not they're, They don't do anything. In series though, if one of these was, say this one was shaded, then the current could pass bypass through the bypass diode into the next one and feed my system here but in parallel they're not going to do anything now when do you have to fuse these these panels so the rule is is that if the short circuit current if you look on the back of the panel there's a nameplate down there it'll tell you the short circuit current and if it's greater than the maximum series fuse rating which is on the back of the panel then each panel must be fused okay so so in this case I have a hundred watt panel and it says that it's uh, short circuit current is 5.2 amps and it says that the the uh, maximum series fuse rating is 15 amps so I've got three panels so that comes out to uh, you know 15.6 amps so technically I should fuse all these because it's it's greater than the uh, the 15 amps you know now the 15 amps just means that the the wire size and the, the panel can take 15 amps without you know bursting into flames I'll never get 15 amps on these panels the way they're located and uh, you know the direction and the angle to the Sun but uh, if you you know go by the letter of the, the rule there they should be fused so I have 10 amp fuses in each of these they're just inline fuses that snap right into the uh, the cables coming off of the the solar panels there and then I, I go through a 20 amp uh, fuse disconnect I'll never get 20 amps but I'm using it as a disconnect so I can disconnect this and work on uh, the, the system here and it goes into my charge controller and that charges up the battery through I have a switch going to the battery and then I have the the batteries fused with 50 amps so I can't get over 50 amps and my ideal diode and they all tie together and go into the inverter down here so these are the same same thing here and this allows me to use uh, different uh, battery chemistries and different different batteries you know so like I said if you can afford to uh, you know a new battery bank uh, that's probably the way to go this way I'm just using this so I could use up these uh, these batteries that I have 
And then over here, I, I'm going into my inverter. I, I, I got a new inverter, a 1200 watt inverter, and I go through an EMI filter and then an 8 amp breaker going into the, uh, to the house there. And then I have uh, ran plugs into the house, and I have um, the TV, the stereo, the uh, computer, the modems, uh, my workbench. Everything is run off of the uh, off of this here. So um, I don't. I'm not running a refrigerator or anything that draws a big load. So uh, you know, eight amps is is fine for what I have. Oh, just electronics in the house. Anyway, we'll go over to the uh, to the panel and I'll show you that my uh, what the panel looks like. All right, so this is my uh, charge controller panel, and these are the dis fuse disconnects coming down from the roof where the solar panels are. This one here is an additional one that I'm putting in later, and uh, I have a new uh, uh, sine wave inverter that I'm putting in here, a little bit bigger, and these are the three uh, ideal diodes right there, and then the, the uh, uh, charge controllers, and these are the disconnects for the batteries down here. So. Uh, it all fit in this one box here, and uh, so it seems to seems to be working pretty good. And uh, right now it's been raining for a week, and I don't have much uh, much power there, but they're they're getting charged up. So anyway, that's uh, that's my charge control panel, and uh, thank you.